Good morning. Welcome to 7 at 7. I'm Walter Hallam, and I am glad you are with me today. Today I want to speak to you in this great month of December, which we like to call the month of giving because uh, God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son. And during this holiday season, and it's a Christian holiday, but it's actually a holiday for all mankind. We celebrate the fact that God sent His Son and that Jesus was born. He was born of the Virgin. The Bible says that He grew. He uh, went all through His life sinless. And that God had prepared Him uh, as His own Son, Emmanuel, God in flesh. He prepared Him as the sacrificial lamb who would take away the curse that was on mankind for every person who believes. The Bible says if we believe upon Jesus as our Lord and as our Savior, we believe He died and He arose from the dead. And we ask Him to come into our heart and to be our Savior, our Lord. The miracle of the new birth takes place on the inside of you. That's what happens when you say, I believe Jesus Christ is my Lord. I believe He is the Son of God. I believe He died for me and He arose from the dead. I believe He's coming back one day. You know, that's what the Bible says. And that, that seems so simple for many people, but when you say it, it's so spiritual, it explodes right in the middle, the depth of your soul. You can hear it, you can feel it. It's very powerful, it's very real. And I pray that today, you have made Jesus Christ the Lord and the Savior of your life. Well. All this year, 2020, and all of the uniqueness of this year that we've experienced because of the pandemic, and all of the effects and the impacts it's had, during this time, I've had the honor of bringing the good news of Jesus Christ to you on a daily basis, Monday through Friday, and many of you view seven days a week. Some of you view more than one time a day on Facebook or YouTube or one of our channels or on the Walter Hallam Ministry app. You know, it's a blessing to be able to do that. But I'd like to ask you in this month of giving, would you do your part to help us take the gospel of Jesus and just the encouraging good news? Every person should be a giver. You know, uh, when we give and we help support something, that means there's something bigger than us in front of us. We all have purpose that's beyond just our own sustenance. Well, I believe as givers, God puts that in our heart because we, everyone, have a role to do something more than just for ourselves. When you help support 7 at 7 with Walter Hallam Ministries, you'll help us this uh, December also help support an orphanage, which is uh, beautiful, something that we are involved in or I'm involved in. Uh, I'm on the board of that orphanage. It's a great blessing. We have over 150 children there now that we have adopted. Uh, it's in Guatemala. It's beautiful. And uh, I'll gladly send anyone information that asks us about it. We would love to uh, let you know about it. But would you help support a portion of what you give this month? will go to help support those children as they grow uh, from the time they're just little infants, many of them, until the time they graduate from college. We actually have college graduates that have gone through the orphanage. What a great privilege and an honor to take some of these little children that, what a privilege to do that and see their lives turned around, knowing that that's one the devil will never be able to hurt again like that. Well, when you give, you help. And I want to thank you for doing that. It is a blessing. Also, uh, every month uh, we are involved as a ministry in feeding people that are hungry, people that are needy, and uh, dispensing food out. We partner with other groups to do that. And I'd like to ask you to help us. When you give this month and support Walter Hallam Ministries, you're helping do that. I don't take the money personally myself. I'm blessed by the Lord uh, through my books and through other things that we do. You're giving like that. It helps uh, pay to take the gospel and it helps distribute food, clothing, and support to other ministries that need it. So thank you for helping. You can actually text. You can text that giving in right now. It's probably on your screen, but you can text to Walter Hallam Ministries. Let me read this to you. Uh, at 832 772 2071. 
When you do that, that's not a number to call, that's a number to text. It will pop up on your screen, and then just, uh, if you would, follow those little prompts and just save it in your, in your contacts and everything, and then it'll come up. You might want to do that uh, every month and just help partner and help support. So you can do it that way. That's a great way to do it. You can also support uh, Walter Hallam, which is Walter Hallam Ministries, walterhallam.com slash partner. Uh, when you do that, that's a great way to give. Uh, many people like to give through the church. We, I have the privilege of pastoring a great church, one of the great churches in Texas. And it's a great honor to be able to do that. So I'm not sure where you're viewing from today, but I want to thank you for taking this year and going with me on a daily basis through scriptures and through biblical principle and learning how to live victorious, how to live uh, a, an overcoming life in the middle of an underperforming year. Uh, this has been a pretty difficult year for a lot of people. But you know, when, you, when you're willing to give and willing to help, it's amazing how it lifts your soul. God placed that in a mankind to be able to do that. And I believe that that's in your heart today too. So, you know, we've been talking together now for almost a solid year, and I don't come to you and ask you for money like that. But this month, great month to give. Why not go ahead and do your part? And bless the Lord that Jesus is alive. Thank God that you have something you can give. Do something notable, something that moves your heart. And I pray God will bless every penny you sow, and that somehow God will return it back to you this year and in, the, and in the coming year, the Bible says, God will bless you back. Some 30-fold, some 60-fold, and some 100-fold. That's what God said. And I believe it'll happen for you too. So today, God bless you. Thank you for being with me on 7 at 7. I can't wait to see you all this week. Bye-bye.